All right, so if you have these five gallon jugs of water, here is one easy way to get the water out of it without spilling it everywhere with the added benefit of filtering the water once more, even though it's probably overkill. So we're using five gallon Primo water. I like this water because it's already purified. It's reverse osmosis, deionized. So this is what I use for long-term storage, but eventually, hopefully not, but likely someday you're going to have to use this in an emergency situation. How do you get the water from here into someone's cup? Well, you could easily just tilt the thing, but then you risk losing control and spilling several ounces or even a gallon of it if you lose control. This is precious water in an emergency. And you also wanna make sure that there's no contaminants. Now, one thing you can do is use a water pump, which is more than a water pump. It's a water filter, an active filter. This is made by Survivor Filter. I'll put a link in the description if someone asks. And then it allows you to pump the water and filter the water. So what we're doing here, we're just demonstrating with a Nespresso reservoir and it's actively pumping the water from within here. So it has a floating uh, pre-filter, which removes all the sediment. It does a pretty good job of filtering it, but then when it gets into here, it has an activated carbon filter. It has several other stages of active filtration, and it allows you to conveniently pump the water while you pass it through an additional filter. The cap I'm using is, you know, aftermarket cap. Um, you can get these on Amazon, I can include the link as well but it allows you to just keep it covered i have as you can see the pre-filter down inside and then the hose just comes up through here this simulates what you would do if you were actually outside at a lake or a creek the pre-filter would come in here there's a little uh rubberized uh floaty that keeps this near the surface of the water where the least amount of sediment is. This is just a demonstration of what you would actually use this filter for in the real world during camping, hiking, or off-grid living, or an emergency. And then if you wanted to just use the cap itself, uh, another advantage of Primo is that you can just peel the cap back, put the hose in through the cap. It's just not a very tight fit. This is a little more reusable, okay? So that is how I'm using this in a really inappropriate environment, my bathroom. Uh, the reason for this is that our kitchen is unusable right now during renovations, so we have our little coffee station set up here. And one more thing, kind of unrelated, but maybe you find it useful. Uh, this battery-powered fridge has a very long, long-life battery. You can make this into a freezer or a fridge, and it also has a USB cord, which we're using to power our survivor filter. So one more thing about the filter is that you can power it through a USB cord, micro USB, and that also allows you to power it through a solar panel, right? So any 12 volt USB, you could power it through. Um, in addition, it has a battery compartment here. So you have two AA batteries. So it really is belt and suspenders extra precaution. You can use the batteries by itself when you don't have access to a portable, you know, battery pack like a USB charger or a solar panel or it's at night uh, and then you can just use the batteries to power it itself. All right? So that's the water filter. That's the type of water that I like made by Primo long-term storage this is absolutely one of the best don't use the individual water bottles the 16.9 ounce bottles don't use water that isn't purified uh, because this this is up to 10 maybe even 20 years of shelf life in some cases as long as you store it properly and then this fridge is fantastic it has a battery here i have a few extra batteries for it so when the power goes out you have some place to keep maybe important medications or some key food items has a built-in light, um, not a very 
spectacular presentation. It has a drain plug at the bottom, so if you do get it frosted over. And again, these are all dual use. It's not just for the one-off emergency. It's not just for the, uh, you know, apocalypse that never comes. It's for camping, it's for hiking, it's for going up to the park, having a nice lunch, not having to rush back before your food spoils. It's a portable fridge with a handle, with wheels, a lot of practical uses. And of course, what is good for off-grid living and camping is also good for unintentional off-grid living during an emergency when none of your utilities are available.